Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech Teenager, and today I'm just going to be telling you all about Google's Honeycomb Android OS, which has just been released with a video. I'll put a link in the description, and you can go ahead and watch that after I'm done explaining. Um, really, the Android, the Android OS is exclusively for tablets, and the first tablet that we're going to be seeing running this OS is probably Motorola's tablet, which hasn't been released yet. It's going to be released in a couple days at CES, and it's most likely going to be called the Zoom with an X. Pretty fancy name. Um, but the tablet UI looks incredible. Um, in the top left, it's got a Google search, and you see also here I have some amateur photos <laughs> that I made. Uh, I don't want to get caught copyright. So top left, it's got a search bar. It, right here in the bottom left, or the mid left, it's got an inbox for your email, and it has um, the subject indicator, and also has a little preview of the text. Right in the middle, it's got an events feed, like what you're doing that day, what's coming up, and it also has uh, summaries for those. And all the way on the right, it's got a bookmarks menu for all your bookmarks on your internet. And what it has there, it has icons for all the sites, and it also has names of the sites, of course. In the top right, it's where you can access all your applications. Uh, brings up a menu. And also, they got a really cool feature. Um, you can bring up like the menu customization page, and what that does is it actually, when you bring up the menu customization, it brings up a pages-like uh, feature on Mac. And what that does is it's, it um, not only minimizes the page that you're on, but it also brings in all the other pages that you have. And up from the bottom pops up a little menu where you can access um, widgets, wallpapers, and other other customization settings. All I have to do is find something that you like and just drag it up onto your menu. Um, their eBooks app is really cool. It's got a cover flow for the covers, and it's completely compatible with all of Google Books. Uh, they've got millions of titles on there, so whether or not it'll compete with Apple's iBooks, uh, we'll see there. It also has tablet op optimized Gmail, which you've, if you've ever used an iPad, it's kind of like that mail application. Uh, you can kind of scroll around to the left, and then also um, it just has a preview of these messages in the, the main the main portion of the screen on the right. Uh, pretty much, we designed YouTube, and what that is, it's all the videos that you're searching for in kind of like a grid format. If you were used Safari, right when you open up Safari, it's got all your web pages right there in boxes, like across the screen, and that's how it goes. Um, when you're actually watching YouTube video, uh, there's a video on the left and on the right. It's got some more good videos, related videos, and stuff like that. They have video calling with all the users of Google Talk, and so that's really going to come out in Apple's FaceTime because there are a lot more users. And right out of the box, it's compatible with a lot more people. And uh, probably the coolest thing, if um, for navigation, uh, they have a 3D version of Google Maps, and what that is is uh, from the top aerial view, it's 2D, but then you can go and kind of swoop in and uh, view all the buildings and stuff, and also like if you find somewhere that looks familiar, you go ahead and tap on it, it brings you to street view, but uh, more than that, you can actually navigate around in street view. It's got like continuous pictures, it's awesome. This is probably one of the coolest tablet UIs I've ever seen, and it is the best competitor for Apple's iPad. The only thing that would hold this, this OS back would be uh, fragmentation of devices, and also the fact that it's starting so late in the game. Um, Android does have a lot of applications, but it is pretty much all other operating systems are lacking when compared with Apple's App Store. So we'll see how this does. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, subscribe. And also keep in mind there's the official video in the link in the description. But that's it guys. I'll see you later.